the romance of the FA Cup is back and West Ham enter into the third round against Shrewsbury Town who are currently in the third tier which is League One sitting second on good form on decent form coming up against a West Ham who have had a decent run under Moyes and um, beaten once in seven games it's the FA Cup what team do we want out how far do we want us to progress it's been 38 years since we have won a trophy and Too it long. is time for us to try and get a trophy back in our cabinet why not just go for it I don't understand why we wouldn't we are Irons United I'm joined by Luke Luke what are your thoughts on the FA Cup um, it's a, it's a you know, it's a trophy that I'd like us to try and win. I think we kind of half bottled the League Cup um, after going through all that effort and beating Tottenham like we did, and then sort of chucking a towel and against Arsenal. It was really disappointing. Um, so hopefully, hopefully we uh, we give this more of a bash. But I'm not holding much hope for it to be fair. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they, they, currently, what do we know about the opposition? Not much. They play at the New Meadow Football Stadium. They're sitting second. In League One behind Wigan, they're on good form. New Meadow. Yeah, the New Meadow. Um, they're, they're sitting second behind Wigan on decent form. They've won 16, drew 6, lost 3, played 25 games, got a decent goal difference. Bit of a cushion in second position a front in front of Blackburn. So, Shrewsbury Town will be up for this. It's this, The FA Cup is the story of the giant killers in the lower leagues, the underdog, the, the tale yeah, of the underdog. Yeah. And um, BBC have decided to um, put this on the TV, which I don't know is coincidental. Do they think or do they suspect? They know. Uh, they yeah. suspect something. They, 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 they're going for it, you know. Yeah, it's probably the one of the fixtures on the list. It's like there's a big difference between the two clubs, and who who's, who currently could probably get beat in the league, and it's probably West Ham right now. So yeah, yeah enter West Ham as everyone says. Um, we have come off a good result against Spurs um, mm. five minutes from victory uh, had one attempt on goal and what a goal it was oh. um, Luke you've got your couple of minutes of fame here to talk about the Spurs <laughs> so go for it what's your thoughts and and also how do you think we'll take that into the, the FA Cup game well I mean from honest, when I heard that Anatovic wasn't in the team I was a little bit um, not only disappointed but also a little bit uh, worried because I thought it was, it was a major injury then that's going to muck us around completely but it seemed more of a tactical decision um, after we see the team and the way they the way they, they carried it out um, I thought actually I kind of sympathised with the fact that you know we have played two games in only two days um, and I know professional football really should be able to accommodate that regardless but obviously we're going there we've seen the fact that Spurs have taken apart previous opponents that were probably you know 5-0 and all the rest of it and whatever whatever <coughs> Uh, but we defended really, really well. Um, and we, we, we acted as a unit. We did, we attacked when we could attack. We didn't throw ourselves into any sort of position where it was um, putting ourselves in danger needlessly. Um, and luckily, I mean, Obiang just pulls an absolute banger out of the bag. Um, he's, he ain't got a bad hit on him. He hasn't got a bad hit on him at all. He's, he's, he's hit previous shots like that before mm. um, in a couple of other games. And uh, he's not been so lucky. But yesterday, really knocked the socks off. Um, and I was just when I celebrated it was just like it was just like, been, like I did before the previous Spurs game in the League Cup it was just noises I couldn't even control myself it was just it was unreal and I'm still in shock now that he scored the goal yeah um, yeah I think you know we got that, that, that back back line I don't like to see don't be wrong I don't like seeing what it is of like a solid back five and whatever <laughs> um, but you know Rice and O'Bonner um, were just different gravy last night uh, Rice is really coming into his own. He needs a special um, mention, definitely needs a special mention, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm going to just get that quickly, quickly in there. But yeah, basically, I mean, job job well done. Got we didn't get the three points, but take that away from Son's goal as well, because it, was, it wasn't it was as good as Obiang's, no, but it was still a decent goal for what it was. Um, and yeah, I just unfortunately didn't get the three points, really. You should be selfish. <laughs> and listen, we're, we're talking about a West Ham now that have come off since the the Arsenal defeat in the League Cup. We've lost one, drew two, and won one. Now we're coming to a cup competition. So we've get we've built up a bit of momentum again. We're coming mm. into a cup competition. Is this potentially going to be the downfall for another couple of bad results coming up? Like, do we, you know, if it felt like when we played Arsenal in the League Cup, we we stopped the momentum. Yeah. And now we're coming yeah. into the FA Cup after a couple of good results, results we probably didn't expect again. And mm. is is this something that you think could, you could see have a knock on effect or? 
do you think this is where we're actually going to see a lot of the younger players come in and really really start to show what they're worth yeah it depends if we really give a shit about it or not I think if we genuinely see it as, as something that's going to hold us back in a league I can't see Moyes or the team or whatever um, putting much effort into it um, and if we do go through I can see it being like a 1-0 we just scrape through with minimum momentum going through the motions um, all eyes are going to be on Huddersfield for the next game make no mistake about <coughs> that they'll have complete uh, eyes on that but um, I think if they the only way I think we'll take it kind of seriously is if Moyes really wants to keep his job and thinks to himself well if I can get a, if I can get a cup run at, under, under, my, under my belt then I can say to the owners well look only if I kept you up but I've also got you quite close to uh, a Wembley final mm. an FA Cup final um, but if he doesn't give a crap about it then maybe we'll, we'll see a lot more youth involved um, but momentum wise we can't really be asking for much more going into this um, yeah. but it's West Ham so <laughs> momentum as much as you like it doesn't yeah. matter Yeah, I mean one thing we do know is David Moyes has admitted in his post-match conference yesterday that he is not he's going to make some changes there's going to be changes in the team and I think we all kind of expected that yeah. Um, yeah. you can probably see a lot from the youth and, I mean there's talks <coughs> of Reece Oxford he's picked up an injury he's, there's a slight chance that he'll make up make the game this weekend which will be nice to see I'm interested and intrigued does he potentially if Reece Oxford is fit do you foresee that and Declan Rice as a partnership for this game yeah, I do. It's, it's kind of weird with though with uh, Voxford because he hasn't really. I think he, when he played his best for West Ham in the <coughs> two in the two games that he did, he was in central midfield, um, and it depends if we want to um, keep that midfield going with uh, Noble if he's still fit enough to go for that game, and then put in Obiang or Kiyate in. Um, but as as a back line, I don't see why not. Why not going with Reese and Oxford if they're both fully fit, if they're both fully impressed. Um, you know, Rice done perfectly well at left back uh, last night, left side of midfielder, but I think he probably preferred to be more central. So for him and Oxford to be in there, um, yeah, give it a go. Why not? There's also you know? some other interesting things, like if you've got Creswell <coughs> potentially going to be fit, is they going to use that for a mat- bit of match fitness, give him a little bit of time? Are we going to see some changes made throughout the game early on to give players some game time? You're looking at, we know that Zabaleta will be rested, we have players on the bench desperate to come on um, are Burke and Cullen back are they back I don't think they are are they I don't think they are I think Burke's on his way out and I think Cullen's maybe kind of on his way out but yeah. will not be maybe if if they, if they are I don't I think Burke's going in January I think yeah. but I think they're just holding Cullen on, until the summer and we know that Joe Hart's going to come back into goal um, yeah. that's yeah, going to give him enough. an opportunity um, midfield you've got players like Haksibanovic sitting on the bench you've got Antonio who's Touch the ball, whether or not he's maybe going to make the game, and and to be honest, I could probably see him maybe not starting, but or maybe starting and coming off, or maybe coming on later. Yeah. Um. I mean, what would you do in that midfield? Moyes is going to bring the changes. We know that. But yeah. what 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 current players are going to play? It's a strange one because we've we've got kind of in positions where we would really like to change it up. You realise how actually low we are on members um, for for you know for squad depth. <coughs> Um, because you take away Zabaleta and you've got no right back because Byron's still not fit yeah. so you're going to have to play a right wing back or someone has to come back and, and do that job um, it's going to be a weird, like, personally I think the best thing for us is just just play the youth because if the youth are really as good as we're all making them out to be as we all, we all believe they can be then you know we've had we've had um, our senior team playing two games in two days so they're going to be knackered mm. and realistically they don't want to really go that way to an away game in the Midlands um, and you know trudge it out in a probably quite a tense uh, match because I can see Shrewsbury, Shrewsbury bringing up for it um, but then you've got players like like you say Haxabanovic who haven't had a chance really apart from the Bolton game Martinez still endlessly doesn't get this chance that um, he, he, he should do um, but hasn't you know been in the picture for a little while now uh, you're looking at it you think you're okay well we probably, even if you wanted to take out a lot of the first team and put in a load of the second team, we can't really because our depth isn't that big. So, you see, you know, I, I think I think that's the <coughs> yeah, the depth depth isn't big, but I want to see the youth, but I just don't think I'm going to see yes, as much as much of them. I think I'm probably 
moved on from that side of things because I actually think what we'll see is a really good strong mix between first teamers and maybe the odd youth player so I think a player like Haksavanovic is probably going to get his chance because he's been in and around the bench I don't think Martinez is going to get his chance because I think I've got a theory behind <coughs> the whole Diafra Sacco thing I think Diafra Sacco looks like he may make the game um, I think he may be picked up a knock in training and I think but but he's got a little bit of a history with the cup and he likes to score a cup goal is this an attempt to put him in one last game for West Ham or is it running the risk of selling him is it a chance to get him in to get him a couple of goals to highlight his career and, and yeah. maybe bring the, the pricing up and then you've got Chicharito who a lot of people on social media are slagging off and I just don't buy it at all I, you know, <laughs> I think they are fucking donkeys I've, if they're I've, slagging I've him said I've, I've said it you know for god knows how long now and I'm kind of getting bored of saying it as well um, you know you've got a man in, the, in that squad with the he's well he is I know this is kind of honest you know it's not good enough in a way but he is world class at a certain aspect of the game yeah uh, and he's pretty much unfortunately for him slightly useless with everything else uh, but he does try hard when he's on the pitch no matter what anyone says he does try hard but you can't get the best out of him when he's isolated like he was last night yeah. uh, people are saying he's disinterested he's just frustrated he's not disinterested he's frustrated he's that he can't yeah. do what he can he had, that, he had the opportunity last night for example when he caught the ball from a bad back pass by the Spurs defender and he could tell that his pace is almost completely gone now for what he used to be um, and he got overtaken by, <laughs> the, by but the to defender. be but to be fair to you look like he was never really a pacey striker anyway and when he no. got on that yeah. chance when he was one on one or he could have been one on one with the keeper he didn't have the pace to get through I didn't <laughs> I didn't expect him to do it so I wasn't shocked when I didn't see him beat the defender yeah. I was more shocked because I thought ah oh, shit imagine that was Arnautovic yeah, yeah, that's that, exactly that, what I thought. It was exactly more, what. it was more gutting because I was like, the one, the player you want on the end of that ball was Anatovic, mm. and the player you want on the end of other chances, the Kuwati header, was Chicharito. He needs, oh, I tell you honestly, when when Kiyoti missed that, oh. I I almost chucked a beer at the bottom of the screen because it was it was. Oh, it's, like, <laughs> I know, I know. it's tough to so, sorry sorry to remind you all, but listen, yeah. West Ham have been knocked out at the third round stage in their four of the last six attempts. Shrewsbury have made this stage for just the third time in 14 attempts so it is one of those kind of predicting a, a, a kind of you know an underdog victory put it on BBC let's get the, the West Ham fans panicking let's get the Shrewsbury fans up for it let's get all the public out there supporting Shrewsbury but I just want to see a West Ham turn up who's, who cares who wants to show some fight who wants to show some determination I want to see a Moyes who's a little bit ballsy Ballsy enough to go. I, would, I, I can, see, I can see Sacco. I, I, I don't know what it is. I can see either Sacco or Chicharito playing, because I think whether it's Sacco playing to to get a contract elsewhere or yeah, Chicharito yeah. to play to get confidence to score some goals, and knowing our luck, he probably won't. But a player like Haksabanovic to maybe take over the Arnautovic role and and yeah. create opportunities. We've got Martinez on the bench. Is that another thing potentially? I Fernandez mean, is, is Fernandez fit? I'm just chucking that name out. There. Yeah, I, 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 no, I think he's actually. I think he is. Out. He he, okay. he did not pick up quite a bad injury. I think. I think he did. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. So I keep seeing him either hovering around the subs bench on most games, or yeah. sort of just oh, he's still coming back and whatever. Yeah. Doesn't stop. It doesn't stop him posting a thousand things on Instagram no, every week. No. By the way. Yeah. You know, which is a bit. You know. Bit annoying. Oh, <laughs> All right, yeah. mate. Yeah. Uh, that, nice. Unfollow. Probably, you know. Unfollow. <laughs> yeah. But it's, it's 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 interesting because we don't we genuinely again it comes to that situation like we'll come up against Huddersfield in the league and we'll have a completely not completely different team but there'll be a different setup a different couple of players dropped we've not got the consistency with players starting and the, the thing that does worry me slightly is the fact that these cup games do come in at a time where I feel like we potentially are going to lose momentum when we need the momentum to get to pick up the points it depends, depends how you get beat as well so if we get if we get the shock of all shocks mm. um, which I don't think any West Ham fan would ever think of if we like lose like 2-0 or 3-0 because mm. it can happen it, it, honestly it can happen there's no doubt about it or if we lose in the last minute and it's a bit unlucky we should have won all this and much but I think it's another another aspect of it is how you lose um, and, if, and if they're really up for it then it could be a, a quite a dodgy game for us really yeah there's player, listen, there's players in the wings and we've named most of them um, the things that intrigue me the most are Reese Oxford and Declan Rice 
maybe trying to build up a little partnership there. It's an opportunity yeah. if, if, if Oxford's fit to come back in and, and, and show what he's doing and show Moyes what he's doing. We know we need yeah. to strengthen. We know we need to strengthen in, in January, but that's we've got a show coming up for you on Monday. Um, anything we know on Shrewsbury is as follows. Um, Shrewsbury will have goalkeeper Craig McGilvery between the sticks for the third round clash. He's played in the net the whole competition after first choice keeper <coughs> Dean Henderson was not given permission by Manchester United to complete in the competition. I think that's a bit shit. It does annoy when you've got a lower league club like that. You know, what, what's the harm? It's going to do the Manchester United player the world of good to play. But listen, if that's their backup keeper, then we'll take that. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Um, so, yeah, that, that really kind of. It's just going to be a short review tonight. Any other points you want to make, Luke, before we, we kind of close off? Um, not really I think it's one of them things where you know uh, I'm still kind of not buzzing off the Spurs game but buzzing off the Obi Wan goal still yeah. um, and, and, and that's going to give him confidence but I think it's I would like to see a lot of the youth play even though it's not going to be feasible but I don't think it's going to happen at all um, heart of hearts being a West Ham fan I'd like to see us go on a cup run yeah. I really would uh, because I, I'm I'm probably in the minority being it like this but I don't think we'll get relegated I just cannot see it I don't I know, I know I'm maybe being stupid and naive but I just don't see us getting relegated at all whatsoever um, I think we've got too much with us um, mentally um, and players wise talent wise um, but <coughs> it depends what it depends what, what Moyes wants does Moyes want to like you say be a ballsy does he go I want to stay up and I want a little bit of success if possible as well yeah. or does he go no Get a job done. Get a job done. Get out and go from there. Well, listen, look so. on that. We got we got through a tough fixture list against some of the big sides. Yeah. Now we're coming up against the sides we should be beating, and you know mm. what West Ham usually turn up. And this is the concerning thing. We've got Huddersfield, Palace, Bournemouth. Games. By the way, actually, I just want to just want to yeah, put sorry, I've been waiting, waiting to make this thing for a while now. The Newcastle game. Everyone's saying, "Oh, we had one bad game against Newcastle." I don't think we were that bad against Newcastle. Well, this is this is the point I'm trying to make. Um. Okay, Newcastle hit the bar and hit the post um, prior to their scoring their, their three goals and whatever. But Antonio missed two amazing headers, like three headers in in in, in the area. Right? If he scores those two headers, we score three goals, and I don't think Newcastle score three as they do. Mm. Um, so taking that aside, and that wasn't the brilliant performance itself, but we've actually almost. Um, every performance we've had since the I think it was the um, Chelsea game definitely since you beat Chelsea has been on par solid and fantastic apart yeah. from the Arsenal game obviously but I've just, I, since when I talk about talk, when I talk to other fans and other fans online and on social media they always bring up the Newcastle games for, as a setback saying oh we were shit against them if anyone was shit against them thinking well hold on if, if Antonio does score them two goals that's three goals for us in that game yeah. and it all changes and these little moments people forget about that when you actually think about it again, it changes your mind on it slightly. That's just my, my opinion personally. It doesn't. Yeah. No, yeah. no, 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 no. I appreciate that, and that's 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 what it's all about. Like, listen, we're, we're social media is just a, <laughs> a storm, a, a crazy storm, just with people with different opinions. And listen, we're allowed an opinion as long as we don't hate each other. That's the main thing. But I just Absolutely. quickly looked at it before we kind of close off. We've got Shrewsbury, <laughs> then in the league we've got Huddersfield, Bournemouth, Palace, Brighton, Watford. So games that on paper you look at and you think points, 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 points. But we are West Ham. We don't fully expect all those points. But um, what I think come February, in the middle of February, before we come up against Liverpool at Anfield, I think we'll have a good, good indication of what West Ham we're going to see for the rest of the season. Whether yeah, that's a West yeah. Ham that potentially are going to go down or a West Ham that's going to stay up. Because that's four, five games I've said that are winnable games um, and we need the points for. But listen... That's for a Premier League preview. This is the yeah, the FA yeah, Cup, FA, the yeah. the dream. So yeah, I want to see West Ham get through. I want to see West Ham release a FA Cup song. I want to buy it. I want to get all my <laughs> friends to just look at me and go, oh, "You're an idiot," and we can have a day out at Wembley. Yeah, which is <laughs> which is England's home, not the Spuds' home. Um, so yeah, okay. let let's do it. Let's get through to the next round and see what's up. Um, any last points, Luke? Um, yeah, hopefully. Heart, don't embarrass yourself. I don't hate you, mate, but I just I don't I don't think you're up to yeah. it. I think maybe you need a loan move, but it's heart going back to his old stomping ground, isn't it? With the old with the loan deal yeah. when he was back in Man City from years yeah. back. 
Um, and it's something that you know. I think this is make or break. It's, it's, really it's, written, really it's written in the stars. England's yeah. number one returns to his League One, three divisions below, and has a crap game, and he's losing. It, the it will finish him. It will yeah. totally and utterly. I understand yeah. it will finish him. Make and you break. think you think for, this is this is this is more conversations for West for England than it is West Ham because we can just get rid of him. We can end on loan, or we can go somewhere else for the remainder of the season on loan. But we've got a World Cup coming up and we need our keeper to uh, have a lot of confidence. So I think it's either Hart turns up against Shrewsbury or hello Jack Butler number one. Yeah, yeah, true. Well, listen, any comments, fire them below. We'll reply. You've seen we've been doing that. This isn't live to one tonight, but it'll be on and just get commenting and contact us on socials. And yeah, we are, that's Luke right there. I'm Anton. I'm sitting right mm-hmm. below Bobby Moore. <laughs> Yeah, Bobby Moore. So, how fitting. Uh, we are Irons United. Come on, you Irons. <laughs>